is it. Wait, wait. Honey, this has got to be it. Yeah, but those signs weren't really clear. What if we have the wrong apartment? Well, then, we'll just apologize, okay? Okay. Okay. No. Come on. I never heard of an apartment in here with seven eights before. <laughs> well, if you're with the Red Cross, we gave it the office. If you're selling some sort of product, we've already got it. If you're collecting signatures for a petition against corruption, pollution, and nuclear annihilation, we've already signed it! <laughs> Just joking. You must be Lydia's new friends. How do you do? Oh, <laughs> yes, I'm uh, Gary, and this is John. Lydia, the victims are here! <laughs> you must be Frank. <laughs> yes, we're all quite frank around here. Lydia! Lydia's running late, as usual. Always late, never on time. What is it that women do in the bloody bathroom, anyway? Ghastly business, women's beauty rituals. Takes her three days just to get the bloody mud pack off her face. Well, can't complain, though. She goes in looking like Dracula and comes out looking like Cleo... Lydia. Telling horror stories again, Frankenstein. Joan, you made it. <laughs> and you must be Gary. Ooh, Joan's told me so many good things about you. Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> Joan should tell those things about me. <laughs> <clears throat> now, now, darling, not yet. The night is young and they've only just arrived. And now, look, they've brought us a bottle of... Cheap white wine. <laughs> Make us all a drink, Frank. I'm thirsty. Lydia, you're always thirsty. Shall I put it in a bucket for you, as usual? I said make us a drink. Now make them. What would you two like? A vodka, perhaps? Better have vodka. It's the only liquid we serve around here. Two vodkas, then! Oh, uh, well, I'll have a little tonic in mine. Me too. With a little lime. Lime, lime, a lot of limes. How about lemon? That'd be just fine. Yes, lemon for me too, Frank. You always know where to find them. Yes, well, I found you, didn't I? Oh, <laughs> please, sit down. Go on, go ahead. Oh, don't pay any attention to old Frankenstein there. <sighs> don't let him bother you. He's completely harmless. Boring, in fact. Just ignore him, that's what I do. Just ignore him. Doctor says he's crazy, but what do they know? <laughs> so, Joan, tell me, how's your visit for the Olympics going? How many events have you seen? Huh? Uh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm sorry, what'd you say? The oh. Olympics. Which events have you seen? Events? Well, we haven't really. Oh. We've seen most of them on TV. <laughs> Yeah, you know, traffic's pretty rough out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, here we are, refreshments. Oh. Drink up, kiddies. It's about time. Thank you. Ah, now, what shall we toast to? Jerry, you're the guest, you make the toast. Uh, Gary. Gary? Gary? That's strange. Well, here's to Gary. No, Frank, the man's name's Gary. You keep calling him Jerry, it's Gary. Gary! Oh, 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 I'm terribly sorry, old boy. Completely embarrassing. Oh, hey, that's all right. No big deal. Well, I'm glad you feel that way. Because for some odd reason, I can't seem to remember the name Gary. Strange, isn't it? Well, what shall we drink to, Harry? Well, let's drink to peace, prosperity, and an optimistic outlook. Here, here. Wait, wait! I have a better one. Oh, shit. Here's today's future and past. May they be fun and may they last. And though we live them awfully fast, let's get drunk and have a piece of ass. <laughs> 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 hey, I'll drink to that. He's <laughs> funny. Frank, you're funny. Did you hear that, Lydia? She thinks I'm funny. Oh, you're funny, all right. He's the funniest man on earth. Makes me laugh my ass off all the time. Go, 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 go. 
I just love your Japanese lantern over there. Yes, Frank has an affinity for things oriental. It's so interesting the way they do their houses, you know, with those paper doors and mats. Shogis! Uh, right, right. And those big cotton mats they sleep on. Futons! Uh-huh. Yeah, those also. You're in luck. We have a futon. Really? Oh, yes, really. Lydia, why don't you go show it to her? I'm sure she'd just love to see it. She doesn't want to see that. Oh, Lydia, show me. You see that, Lydia? She does so wish to see our lovely little oriental futon. Don't you, Jack? Oh, sure. Well, then why don't you show it to her, Frank Furter? The splatter room is your room anyway. Lydia, darling, it's an age-old tradition for the host to give the guests a guided tour through the castle. It's not my tradition. Besides, you're the host. Share the responsibility. Ah, oh, alas, Lydia. With you, when it comes to responsibility, it's not so much sharing it as it is falling it off on others entirely. You lie, Frankenstein! Talk about shirking responsibilities. You're the laziest goddamn bum on two legs. Be careful, Lydia. Do you two know what Frank does all day long? Have you any idea? No. Uh, watch it, Lydia. I'll tell you what he does. Nothing. Zip. Zilch. Zero. Nada. A big. Fat. Nothing. Shut up, Lydia! He sits on his arse all day long. Lazy bum, lazy bum, lazy bum, lazy bum! Stop it, Lydia! Stop it! Now be a good little hostess and show Joan the futon. What did you say to me? It's your turn to play tour guide, remember? But I don't want to... Exit! Come on, Joan, let's go look at the futon. Oh, it's not necessary. You I said come on! Oh, my. Here, old man, let me freshen that up for you. Oh, okay. Uh, so, Frank, what do you do for a living? Oh, a little of this, a little of that, and you... Same. Ah, I see we have something in common. Yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> Anything wrong? We spilled my drink. I spilled your drink. You're worried because I spilled your drink. Do you know that death squads in El Salvador get credit cards? Do you know that right now, at this very moment, there are 200 Uncle Harry's with their hands down their niece's panties? The Middle East is in turmoil. The superpower set poised with their fingers on the button. Nostradamus, the Bible, and Gene Dixon, they've all prophesied about the coming of the end. But you get, shall I say, a little bent out of shape because I spilled your drink. Harry, Gary, Jerry, whatever your name is. Gee, I'm sorry. Punch me in the stomach. What? Punch me in the stomach. No! Hey. Come on, punch me in the stomach. Hey, hey, wait. Come on, punch me what? in the stomach, man! Uh do it! You're a man, aren't you? Do it! I didn't say I wouldn't punch you back. Shotgun, so now you know what a shotgun is. <coughs> what is this place? This is the splatter room or the transcosmic terminal. It gathers negative ions and acts as a focal point in space and time where interdimensional planes of existence converge, commingle, and then move away into oblivion. Mm -hmm. This causes either extrasensory perception or cerebral hemorrhaging. People who spend the night in this room never come out the same. Conversely, they're never the same when they enter. Now, Geiger counter and balance readings indicate that this room serves as a bridge between worlds for extraterrestrial intelligences, supernatural entities, or random atomic particles. <laughs> At least, that's what Frank says. To me, it's the splatter room. You see, Frank had this paint 
but like he didn't have enough to paint the whole room one color, so he splattered it all over the place. Of course, the landlord hated it, but like, hey, if you can't paint your apartment whatever you want, what's the use of paying rent, right? Care to have a bash with the old sticks? <laughs> <laughs> What was that? If we were real samurai, you'd be dead right now. I bet. When I was ten years old, I came home from school one day, and I found my mother and my grandmother on the kitchen floor with her throats cut. I was put into an orphanage until I was 18 and I was physically and mentally abused. <sighs> Sir, what's your story? Uh, I'm going to tell you something that I haven't even told Joan. Oh, really? What's that? I had a homosexual experience when I was in ROTC in college. Oh, really? Is that why you married Joan? To prove to everybody that you weren't a homosexual? That's it. Exactly. Oh! Hi! Oh! No! Hey, you're a good dancer. Well, well, well. Look at this. I don't believe it. I invite you into my home, give you refreshment, show you every hospitality, and how do you repay me? By raping my wife on the living room sofa! Is that why you married me? Is that why? Because you were homosexual and ROTC? Oh. Woe, woe are these times when strangers can come freely into our homes and ransack and pillage the lives of ordinary decent city folk. You are a monster! You, you beat me. You made me take drugs. What did you do to my wife? She's all wet. That's it. There's nothing more that you can say and nothing more that you can do. That's it. That's it. Stand up to me. The morning air smells good when you've just fucked up someone's life. 